Well, here we are. <laughs> Ooh, still a little bit warm in here. Got the good old thermal stuff in the windows while we uh, keep it parked here. Um, I'm thinking I want to get this camera hooked up. This is a uh, N2 Pro Van True dash cam. It has a, a lens in front, a lens facing inward, and it also has a little uh, video display screen and a, a suction cup deal. So that's what it kind of looks like. Not kind of, that's what it does look like right there. Ever have a camera, take a picture of a camera that's taking a picture of a phone? So that's what it is there. Hangs upside down on the windshield. But normally, in a normal van or car, your windshield will be right here. And uh, you don't have to really worry about it. But because of the uh, Vegas's huge front window, it's got to go way, way, way out there and suck onto the glass. But then you have this cord, and I'm, I'm sure that the uh, local law enforcement wouldn't want to have anything dangling in front that could cause a little bit of attention from passing highway patrol. So uh, we're going to try to route it up and around and down over onto the passenger side. There is a 120 plug and I purchased one of these adapters, an AC to DC adapter. It's got the, the cigarette lighter on one side, it's got the regular plug on the other because at the end of this cord, grab it over here, it has a cigarette lighter adapter. So I'm planning on cigarette lighter adapters down in the middle of the dash here and it's uh, the cord's not long enough to go up over down around over again and down so we're just going to route it over to that plug on the passenger side plug it in like that boom so when we want it it's there when we don't oh this has another uh, usb port in it so that's convenient in case Kim wants to plug in one of her devices. So that's the plan. That's one of the chores that has to get done before we head out on our trip to the Upper Peninsula. One of the other things that I wanted to do was, I don't know, say hi to Elvis. Hi Elvis. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's hot, hot in Vegas. Feels like Vegas to me, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep the ferns out of my hair, man. Yeah, that's it, baby. Oh. All right, so onward we go. We're JK and Kim, and we love traveling, exploring, and enjoying the hashtag van life way of RV. With our fur babies in our 2019 Thor Motor Coach Vegas 24-1, who we've named Elvis, we could be called weekend camping warriors because we're still juggling several busy careers, but we're hitting the road whenever we can. Follow along with us as we enjoy what we call hashtag van life for big people. So normally, serious YouTubers turn the air conditioning off inside their camper so that the noise doesn't interfere with the audio quality. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stay cool and I'm gonna leave the air on. So if you hear that humming, it's just the air conditioning. Cause I'm up in the windshield area and you know how hot that area gets if you own one of these things. So here we go. What I'm gonna do is put the camera up on the windshield, lock that into place and then start routing the cable through over the windshield down and around to the uh, AC plug, the 110, 120, whatever the heck it is. And I'm gonna be using some basic cable clamps and some self-tapping little screws. So 
We'll see how this works. track so it doesn't get involved with that and then right down there and then we come straight down the window because we're not really looking out through the window that much and you can see the cord's kind of hidden it's right here see it's kind of hidden kind of hidden and then that goes down <laughs> that goes down <laughs> around Whee! down by the cup holder and all the way down here plugged in and like i said this unit has a another usb connection there so you actually don't you're not losing any of the plug capabilities so that's not too bad that looks pretty good so much to think about tools 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 simple tools one trip to the hardware store and we've got it in now that camera was recommended by creative rv the gal that's uh i don't know she's in a fifth wheel now or a large trailer and she's a full-timer and does books and things like that has a youtube channel and uh, so she worked some sort of special on amazon so we bought it and uh, the footage, like I said, isn't too bad. Um, as soon as you turn the thing on, you're recording both inside the cab and outside. So we're gonna be using that for some of our travel footage. And the first time we'll use it, well, we've already tested it a couple times to see how that would go without routing the cable all around. But uh, we're gonna have it going as we head up to the upper peninsula of Michigan and we'll be doing that here in just a little bit so that was one project out of the way I've been procrastinating on that for a long time, 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 time. <laughs> and uh, that's the way it is with projects you procrastinate uh, put it off uh, and then finally you get around to doing it it takes you five minutes and uh, I think we're good to go it'll be interesting to make sure that uh, these screws hold into whatever else, whatever's up there that's covered in vinyl. Uh, it feels like wood. There's screws that are holding up the, the curtain track and things kind of the same thing, same situation with screws and uh, mounting brackets. So 
Uh, should hold pretty good. And then if we don't care for that, I don't know. I don't think they have much longer of a cord. We'll just have to trade vehicles, I guess, get a van where the windshield's closer <laughs> rather than try to find a specialized cord that's longer. I think this is a good option. It beats it coming down into the uh, center console area where you're trying to to uh, run the air conditioning heater. And I know when Kim's sitting here, she's got her phone hooked up in there and uh, air conditioning and all that sort of stuff. Plus it's right down in the way of our cab shot. up and out of the way and, and it's not going to be causing any issue so that's it for right now the other issue is trying to do close-up work when you're what do you call that bifocals no they're trifocals are on the bottom and you're looking up yep if you uh, have those you know what I'm talking about you could take them off and turn them upside down that works for about 20 seconds Anyway, that's it for uh, this episode. Uh, we'll try to get Kim in here as we start to pack up and get ready for our big trip. Uh, one other project that's coming up, we're going to be installing a couple of little uh, USB port fans up there because the Vegas and the Axis, the uh, defrost is very, very poor. Uh, so we're going to try a couple of fans to see if that helps defrost, move the air a little bit more. So in the meantime, that's it for us, for me, you. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and uh, check the links down below. Not that we have any, but everybody says that. So I guess that's the way you do it on YouTube. Anyway, if we don't see you soon.